rule the day, like you were saying, where it's like, you have to have the hottest take, you have to be really, your emotions have to be all, like, always visible to everyone all the time about everything. Otherwise you're some jerk or whatever. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. By the way, I'm halfway through that book. I love it. Mm -hmm. And I love Jonathan Haidt's research. Mm -hmm. And it seems so true that people think that they're just going to like, yeah, I mean, we could totally go on about that just in terms of like, people think you got to keep it real. You got to mm -hmm. be like honest about like, if you're mad at something, I just tell them off. I tell them like what I think is wrong with it. And it's like good work on finding people that want to work with you in the long run because that's not what people want to work with in the long run. In my field, like I owe like work psychology, we call that context performance. Like how congenial of a person are you? It means a lot. And I think researchers, like we don't give it enough attention and talk about how hugely important it is that your temperament and how you respond with people. It's like, go ahead, keep it real. If you want express your outrage and stuff. It's like uh, express your disapproval of others. Like, be hard on them and it's like, great, see how long they want to work with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in some ways, like I, I, uh, I frequently talk to people and they're, they're um, like in a, in a church setting and they, they ask questions like, you know, like uh, they've asked me questions like, well, how, how, how do you respond if someone asks you how you are? You don't want to lie. You don't want to say, you know, this is, this is maybe not in like a work context or maybe not like in like a, a context in which you would be angry or punitive towards somebody, but like it's sort of like, if someone asks you how you are, the best way to respond in some senses, it's like to ask a question back because not everyone wants to know everything about you. Not everyone wants to, not everyone wants to be exposed to all of your feelings, you know, and like the way I've phrased it previously, it's sort of like, um, you, you can't bleed for everybody, you know, like, and for me, your emotions are your blood in that sense. Like, uh, and so like, it's one of those things where it's like, if you, and then some people find the bleeding to be grotesque, you know, and like your workers won't work with you because you're always bleeding on them. And that is a, maybe a gross metaphor, but it, it, that's kind of how I think about it. Whenever like, um, that idea of being a re reactionary, it's sort of like, it, it's almost like, uh, it's almost like, driving past a car accident and like you you have to like gawk at it or something and like make remarks and stuff like that it's like not something i want to do or i i think it's beneficial to do even you know um, thanks for taking the time to watch this clip if you're interested in more content like this this was clipped from a much larger episode of my podcast titled will work for purpose uh, if you'd like to see the full conversation you can click the link right here uh, and you'll be able to enjoy uh, the uh, full hour-long conversation so thanks for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next one.